What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. All right, check it out. So you can see, once again, we got Sweet Baby Ink uh, trending on X. And you might be thinking, ah, same old, same old stuff with Sweet Baby Ink. You know, you've made about four or five videos on it already. You know, that's just who these cats are. More nonsense. People just keep talking about the same stuff. Nah, this time it's different, all right? Now, before we get to what they're trending about, we have to start off with this. Akira Toriyama, all right? One of the GOATs when it comes to manga, when it comes to anime. You know, the creator of Dragon Ball Z, uh, we got the news that he passed away at the age of 68. Far too young, far too young. Still had a lot of good days and a lot of good work left in him. Um, and yes, it says here his popular uh, manga inspired numerous film or television film and video game adaptations, reaching fans far beyond Japan's borders. Yeah, I mean, some people say this is the goat of all anime and manga. This is the guy. You know, I always hear people talk about uh, the big three anime that kind of launched this anime, you know, revolution, you know, that we are in the midst of right now. They talk about One Piece, Bleach and Naruto. All right. But they never throw Dragon Ball in. And I'm like, yo, Dragon Ball gave birth to all of those guys. You know, in a lot of ways, Dragon Ball gave birth to Naruto and Bleach and One Piece. And so you got to throw him in. He, 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 he does stand apart. You know, I always get, hey, why is he in the big three? But then it's like, yeah, he kind of stands apart from the big three. It's like he's here, you know, giving birth to everything that you see below. But he passes away and it's a tragedy. It's sad. He's, you know, 68, far too young, in my opinion, far too young. And, you know, fans all over the world are reacting to it. It's heartbreaking. It's devastating. And to me, like, yo. You know, get his guy his flowers. This is the time to give him flowers. Probably should have given him his flowers before he passed. But nevertheless, now is the time to remember the great Akira Toriyama. That's what we should be doing right now. But what do we got? So this is why Sweet Baby Inc. is trending, okay? Yellow Flash put this out. Sweet Baby Inc. employee fucks around and finds out. Pile of trash mocked Toriyama right after his death and gets a dose of karma. So, yeah, here's our favorite moron, Chris Kindred. You know, we talked about him, let this whole thing off, let this whole BS off with Sweet Baby Ink, you know, trying to get out there and get the uh, Sweet Baby Ink detected, you know, shut down, trying to get uh, uh, Cabrutus booted off of steam. Like that whole situation that was started by this moron. And then as soon as this person gets their account back, because remember, they were suspended. They couldn't do anything. The first thing that Chris Kendrick does once this idiot gets her account back, it is a woman, apparently. Um, Toriyama gave us the best and worst black characters in anime in the same series. It took range to do that. And then, of course, next thing you know, yep, count suspended. Account suspended because you're a fucktard. You're a fucking idiot. You know? Now, I think the account is back on now. Yeah, back up, apparently, uh, but now, you know, protected. All right, gotta protect the account now. Yeah, go into hiding, okay? You say some stupid shit, back into the corner you go. Vanquish these assholes to the nether regions. That's what we need to start doing. Make them protect every damn thing that they got. Nah, y'all can't get out here and play in polite society because you're jerks and assholes. You got to just remove these people out. And I love it. Yeah, protect all your shit. Lock your shit up. Eventually, these cats will just disappear into the atmosphere. Like I say, off to the nether regions, you know, never to be heard from again. That's what's beautiful about the way X operates now. Back in the day, these cats thought that they had to juice. They had to juice. They was the ones running X. Or, or Twitter back then. They were the ones running it. But now, oh, we coming for you, okay? You put some dumb shit out there like this. You put this kind of insulting, nasty garbage out there about a, a legend that just recently passed. Like, damn, you couldn't wait like a week to start posting your bullshit? No, you had to do it like the day of. The day we found out, I think he actually passed away on March 1st. At least that's what I saw. But yeah, you couldn't wait. Couldn't wait. Soon as we, oh, he said, oh yeah, let me go ahead and type some bullshit up. Like, fuck. Yeah, and then you can see this person was, the, the ratio was cracking on. Okay, the ratio was on and popping. But yeah, it's just absolutely nasty people like this that, you know, it's like, yo, we got to just make sure when it comes to social media, I'm not saying to do anything to these people in real life, you know? If you see them across the street, just whatever, man, give them the finger and move on. I'm not saying touch these assholes in real life. You shouldn't. Yeah, video game companies really need to consider who they working with, man. OK, they need to consider who they working with when they hire Sweet Baby Inc. OK, because this is who they are. Uh, video game companies. This is who Sweet Baby Inc. is. 
These are the people that they have working here. This is a mask off moment. If you haven't been aware of it already all week long, it's been a mask off moment for Sweet Baby Inc. They are showing you their true colors from the CEO saying that you got to go out there and use bully tactics and scare tactics to terrify people. Give them ultimatums, you know, in order to inject woke shit into your into your company. This is who you are working with. All of this DEI type shit, it leads to this stuff right here. I'm telling you, man, this is how these cats really feel. They hate. They're nothing but a bunch of haters. And they have hate just bubbling up in their soul. And they have hate for what? For a great creator like Toriyama. For an amazing creator like Toriyama. What has, what has Chris Kindred given the world? Toriyama gave us one of the greatest manga and anime series of all time. What has this moron ever given anybody ever? Except trashy crap and woke video games. What have you done? But write dumb shit on the internet. You've done nothing. Yes, again, to the nether regions. And look, check this out. I love this response right here, y'all. I love this response. Then somebody responded to this uh, Chris Kendry, you know, bullshit saying, yo, that's literally me. Look at this. All right. Look at this. People of every race, people of every color, background, you name it. They saw themselves in Goku. They said, yo, that's me, man. That's how that's that's the impact of Akira Toriyama. OK, that people all over the world, regardless of your background. Yo, I see I see Goku and I want to be like Goku. And Goku was inspirational to these cats. You know, Goku and watching Dragon Ball was the thing that got him through a tough moment. Hey, man, I just got to work harder. I just got to be the best. I got to do what I got to do. Help my friends, save my, you know, my family or my community or whatever. They, they, there's people that get inspiration off of the characters from some of these, you know, great animes and great stories and all of that. OK, that's what Akira Toriyama gave us. A Chris Kendrick, what have you given the world? What have you given the world? Have you given them anything on this level? No. All right. All you can do is just sit up here and talk shit. You know, it, it just pisses me off, man. Like, we should be celebrating this man right now, okay? We should be celebrating this man. We should be, it should be nothing but love and love and love. If you got some criticism, say that shit for another time. Right now, no. We talking about Akira Toriyama. But again, Sweet Baby Inc., this is who they are, all right? Video game companies, this is a mask off moment. This shows you exactly who you working with. You're going to be working with these cats and then they're going to be putting this bullshit out about you. OK, they're going to be saying some shit about you when you pass away. Oh, yeah, that little CEO that made this, this and this. Yeah, they was this. So, you know, they just going to be talking shit about you because they ain't nothing but a bunch of sad little haters, sad little haters. Again, vanquish them. Yeah, this is how it should be. OK, lock it all up. Protect everything. Just go ahead and protect yourself and just dip on out of society. You cannot play with the rest of the kids, okay? Because there's something wrong with your dumb ass. Anyway, folks, what do y'all think about this situation? Again, I just find the whole thing absolutely despicable and deplorable. They call they call the right deplorable. Isn't that funny? And then they do this bullshit, all right? This is how they do. They do this crap, all right? Calling other people deplorable, but this is how they get down. Absolutely ridiculous. But you guys let me know what you think. Jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. And thanks for watching. See you next time.